Hello everyone at Holy Family. Welcome to week three. And for this Faith Friday, we're going to be talking about fear. Oh, I'm so afraid. No, I'm not. Just kidding. So, I really want to talk about an experience that I had that dealt with fear back in high school. Which is why I'm wearing this shirt, South Lion, Triple Threat Athlete, because back in high school, I played soccer, I ran track, and I played my favorite sports, basketball. And so this story about fear was when I was on the basketball team in high school. And I remember in practice, I would make this shot over and over and over, and they would run this drill for me, and I'd be open underneath the basket, make the layup. I did it a hundred times. But then I got put into a game. And I remember I got called in because the starters weren't having a great game. And they ran the play for me. And I got the ball. And I was wide open under the basket. And I froze. I got so afraid. I started to think about, what if I miss this shot? What are people going to think of me? What are my parents going to think of me? What are my coaches going to think of me? What are all my teammates going to think of me? What about all the people in the stands, all the fans? And so I shot it, air ball. I didn't even hit the rim. And I got pulled out of the game. Well, I had some time to think about that. And I started realizing that I'm just responsible for the efforts, not the outcome. It's just up to me to just give my best. That yes, it's okay to be afraid, but we got to feel that fear and then know our power over it. See, our motto back in high school was respect all, fear none. But in that particular moment, I was afraid. And see, look, fear can be a good thing, right? There can be that healthy fear that helps us focus right before a test or before a sporting event or an activity. But then there's that other unhealthy fear that kind of like paralyzes us. Like we can't even move. And that's what I felt like. Like I couldn't even move. And so I had time to really think about all this. And then I got put back in that game for a second time. And this time I said, you know what? I just got to do my best. Do my best then rest. I've always preached that, right? And so for sure enough, I got the play again. A second chance. Was wide open again. And this time I made it. Because all I cared about was just not trying to impress anybody, but really just doing my best. And I felt that fear, but then I felt my power over it, right? Fear can be an acronym as false evidence appearing real. And that was false, that I wasn't good enough or that I couldn't make it, because I've done it a hundred times. And fear can also be forgetting everything is all right. And in that moment, I also forgot that, right? And so look, if we tie all of this into Scripture, right? Into the Bible. It talks about this in 1 John. It says that there is no love in fear. That perfect love casts out fear. That it drives fear out, right? And over and over and over again in the Bible, it says, Do not fear. Be not afraid, right? And God's trying to tell us something. That, yes, it's okay as human beings to feel that fear, but know our power over it through Him, through Christ, right? That we have that effort that I talked about earlier, but God has the outcome. God ultimately will decide that, but if we're giving our best, that's all that matters. The only person we have to impress is Him, right? And in 2 Timothy, it says, don't have the spirit of fear, but have a spirit of power and love and self-control right? So we go out there and we're not afraid. But yes, sometimes we feel that we feel that fear kind of, you know, coming in on us and really starting to constrain us. But we know our power over it through our Savior, right? We have nothing to fear. We have nothing to fear because He's here. God is now here. Always remember that. Have a great week. Hope to see you again soon. Much love. Peace.